안녕하세요 린디입니다 오늘 영상은 한국어 문법에 대해서 얘기할 거예요 일단은 제가 꽤 오래된 엄청 오래된 책을 쓰, 쓰는데 2014년 너무 오랫동안 쓰는 거예요 제 실력이 똑같아요 <웃음> 좀 새롭게 된 책을 있을 텐데 뭐 그냥 빈더블 토픽이라는 교과서를 검색해보면 나올 거예요 시험 준비를 하면서 어, 문법이 얼마나 많은 걸 보고 네, 울었거든요 <웃음> 근데 울지는 말고 계획을 세웁시다 So as usual when I make these videos I'm just gonna continue in English because it is more accessible to a wider audience and less uh, for me to translate uh, in the subtitles So let's begin. I started by looking at the list of grammar that was in the beginning of this book. And what I did is I wrote down every single grammar structure from the chapters as such. The point of doing this was for me to have a single place where I can come back to and mark which grammars I've done. And I have categorized them into a grammar that is new to me, grammar that I know, and grammar that I should review. So I just used any simple color coding system. The yellow ones are ones I know, so these are ones that I don't even need to look through. So sometimes when people work through a new book, they start from the beginning and they go through all the boring stuff they already know and they feel bored and they just leave. Don't do that. If you know the stuff, just skip it. Don't waste your time. Okay, so pink is stuff I need to review. So these are grammar structures I already know and I sometimes hear and use, but I might be wrong and I just want to touch up before the exam. And then blue, over here you'll see there's a few blue ones. Those are grammar structures which are completely new to me. Ones that I have no idea what they mean and I've never heard them and help. <laughs> so after I uh, mark them, I also put a dot on the side. I love using dots <laughs> to fill up the ones that I've done before and ones that, I mean the ones I've completed and ones that are not studied yet. I counted all the grammar structures, so I have 22 completely unknown grammar structures, 34 that need review, and uh, 54 that I already know from this book. So that means unknown grammar and ones that need review make a total of 56 grammar points which I need to study. And I want to study for five weeks and have two weeks for review. So five weeks of study is 35 days. I decided I can study two grammar structures a day, one in the morning and one in the evening, or both in the morning and then review in the evening. And 56 structures divided by two a day means 28 days. So I made a 28 day schedule to stick to to study grammar. In order not to overwhelm myself, I made sure to do one blue, meaning one very advanced, and one pink, meaning one review structure. Uh, every day. So I just write blue and pink here. I don't write the name of the grammar structure because it wastes my time. And then I just say if I've completed it and a rough estimate of how long it took me, as well as do I review the previous day's grammar. And you'll see at the end I kind of run out of blue ones because I, there aren't that many, and then I just go through the pink ones I need to review.
Now some things to keep in mind when studying grammar. Number one, don't get overwhelmed by how much there is to learn. Just do what I did and break it up into little parts a day. And don't just go through your textbook trying to finish as much as you can in a day because it's not going to go into your long-term memory. After you have studied your grammar structures, the next day when you wake up, just be sure to go through what you've done the previous day. I find that my short-term memory is absolutely terrible and I at least have to go through my notes about two or three times from the previous day. So all I do is I read through um, the example sentences. I put little stars at uh, specific parts of the grammar that are new or like a different way that you can use the grammar that I didn't think about before. So things that I might not catch at first glance, I'll be sure to mark that there. And that's what I go through when I am reviewing. And finally, my last point of advice is to be sure to use these grammar structures as much as you can. So as long as you are using this grammar structure, whether you're talking to a language partner, writing a diary, uh, talking to yourself even, if you are using it, the more you use it, uh, the more you will start to solidify it in your memory. Also, don't be afraid to read out loud if you have that luxury. So I would just sit and go over my notes and be sure I am reading sentences over and over. So, 바빠서 집안일을 하는 둥 마는 둥 한다. And this grammar structure I'm learning is 하는 둥 마는 둥. So it's kind of a weird structure that I've never heard before. And it means 어떤 행동을 열심히 하지 않거나 어, 제대로 하지 않은 것. So when you're not like putting your all in for an action or not doing something properly, that is when you use the grammar structure nindung ma nindung. So I try and picture myself in the situation of the sentence. So this sentence is 바빠서 집안일 하는 동 많은 동 한다, which is like because I was busy, I really haven't even had time to clean my house and do like household chores. So I picture that I am this person and I walk around and I'm like, oh, 바빠서 집안일 하는 동 많은 동 한다. 하는 둥 많은 둥 한다 and then I check it again okay 하는 둥 많은 둥 한다 I'm just saying it over and over and over so I can hear myself and that is something that I found very helpful let me tell you how I lay out my grammar notes color coding is very important to me because I'm a very visual person but um, I find that it's totally okay to not follow your rules to the T. So if you feel like something is not working for you, it is okay to change it up as you go along. So you'll see on my first two pages, I put all the example sentences in a purple pen and I highlighted it with a red highlighter, the specific grammar point. I just thought this looked really ugly. I didn't like the colors. <laughs> So from the next pages, I put all the grammar sentences in blue and the specific grammar point in purple. And you can see that my notes look a lot cleaner. Uh, 문법 설명 is basically explanation of grammar I write in black. So this first black sentence here. And then I can't read backwards on my screen. 예문에 있는 문법 포인트 여기에 어? 이렇게 표현해. I'm reading backwards right now. But basically what it says is uh, the grammar point in the example sentence is like this. So I just show that the sentence is in blue and the grammar point is in purple, as you can see there. After that, I do the uh, exercises. I don't do every single exercise in my notebook because I already have them in the book here. Uh, these are my notes from years ago, but I fill in the exercises here and I've just put a page marker right at the back to check my answers. So only the grammar points that are difficult for me or the ones I get wrong, I will put in here and correct myself with a yellow pen. In some cases, the review grammar structures are very easy, easier than I thought, and uh, my page for the day is extremely empty. I pretty much just told myself to be careful of where I put spaces when writing a grammar structure. So I didn't have anything new to learn, but I just took a point there and uh, the rest if they're difficult grammar structures, we'll have a full dedicated page. That's essentially how I create a uh, schedule to stick to and to be sure that I don't overwhelm myself and don't just kind of blindly go through a book page by page and worrying about how much there is. I've just taken what is inside the book, created a schedule to make sure I do two points a day and that has been working really well for me and I will finish it before the exam so all should be well. And one more thing, thank you always for sending in your questions. I love reading them and I try my best to answer them. Uh, but I do have an FAQ on my website, so be sure to head to lindybuitis.com FAQ. I also have a huge page of Korean resources 
So lindybuddhist.com slash korean dash resources. The link is in the description. So hopefully that will answer some of your questions as well. So you don't have to wait for my reply. Um, also, I am busy working on an ebook at the moment that will help you learn a language faster with all of my tips and tricks in one place. So do be on the lookout and come check back and I will let you know when the ebook is done. Er, so exciting. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Hope it was useful and see you in the next video. Bye bye.